Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me today, you guys. It is September 2nd, 2023 today. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come through today, what you should be aware of. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus. All right, well, let's see what's going on, Taurus. The first card you have is the Five of Swords. And then you have the Knight of Rods. It looks like there was um, something, some type of an argument or something that took place. This is not a major arcana, the Five of Swords. It's um, something that happened recently, I feel like, where there was some type of a, some word spoken or something and you just walked away from the situation. And then you have the Seven of the seven of Rods. I'm going to go back and clarify these cards and we'll find out what's going on. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirits? You have the Three of Pentacles. You may have been working together with someone and there's some type of a conflict. In the center of your reading, you have Strength, Leo Energy. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. The Fool, Aries Energy. The Two of Pentacles. Nine of Rods. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. This is your energy, Taurus energy. And then you have the King of Swords. I feel like um, you might feel like you're being pulled in two different directions right now, Taurus. And I'm seeing you looking at the higher level of commitment, all right, with the Hierophant showing up here. You're really up in your head wanting to do the right thing. You're wanting to do what's right. It's like there's two people here that you need to give to or two different situations. And you're looking at what's right and what's fair with the Hierophant energy and making the, the decision of what you should actually be doing, what is fair. Why is the Five of Swords here? And I'm feeling like recently you could have had some type of an argument with someone and you could have felt like, you know, just walking away from the situation would be the best thing to do. You have the Moon, Pisces Cancer Energy. And then you have the Seven of Cups. And you have the Eight of Rods. I feel like something changed. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have the Death card on the bottom of the deck. But something changed. I feel like... Whoever whoever this argument with or this conflict with was with you may not have realized it but this person i'm seeing them looking at other options here with the seven of cups and they could have been having conversations with other people and i feel like you don't know about this and i don't know what the significance of of this coming up in your reading is but we may find out as we go through why is the or you probably know better than me why is the knight of rods here 
Okay, so the Knight of Rods. I feel like you're like you're very busy, Taurus, because you're in this Knight of Rods energy. Like you you feel like let's let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go get done what needs to be done. And there is someone here in your energy that's keeping a secret from you with the Seven of Swords. And this may have something to do with money. They may be feeling like um, there's a lack of money or this person may feel lonely or sad. They're keeping it to themselves. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. And whoever this person is, they're not... They're... Um, Look at how they're all suited up and stuff. You know, look at this knight, the knight of pentacles. All suited up, all guarded. Um, they are, I feel like they could be acting like there's nothing wrong, like everything's perfectly fine. But there's actually something, something wrong in this person's energy. It may be both a lack of money or feeling left out in the cold, feeling there, you know, this could be the person over here who walked away or you, you walked away from someone. Tell me why the seven of rods is here. I'm feeling like you're feeling a bit defensive, Taurus, and I feel like whoever this person is, it's like they're they're also feeling defensive, but you're kind of wanting to fight back to push push some energy away from you here right now. But you definitely got someone keeping a secret from you. But this secret's going to be revealed to you. You have the high priestess, Pisces energy on the bottom of the deck. Why is the Seven of Rods here? You have the Queen of Swords. The Two of Cups. And you have the Devil. Capricorn Energy. feel like hmm. I see it again Taurus I see someone here that is standing back waiting for you to make the first move it's like they're trying to be in control of the situation here I feel like this could be an X with the Queen of Swords showing up here for some of you but I feel like you're you're trying to, um, you're not trying to push your way in. I, I know what this person's trying to do. They're trying to manipulate you with, in some way. That's why the devil is here. They're trying to act like they're perfectly fine where they're at, but this is really just a manipulation. This person, they may even be in a different connection right now. Tell me why the two of cups is here. They're trying to manipulate you. Why is the Two of Cups here? They're actually in another... This person, they've got someone else or some other people in their energy here. And I feel like they could be gossiping they're not doing anything this person tries to watch you they try to see what's going on let's keep going because i'm getting this devil energy is trying to suck me into it even even as i'm reading the cards I feel like there's someone here that is obsessed with you, Taurus, and 
they're trying to make something look like it or make themselves look like they're different than what they really are. Tell me why the Three of Pentacles is here. And this may be a marriage. Sun and Judgment showing up. Leo energies here. I feel like I mean, haven't we been getting the same kind of energy, Taurus, where it's like you're working on something, trying to mind your own business, and I feel like there's like this gossip going on, and I don't even want to say it. You have the sun and you have judgment here. How can someone judge the sun? I don't know. I feel like someone, someone may see you someplace or something. Oh, okay, so. Hold on a second, you guys. Let me pick up these messages. I feel like whoever you're dealing with here, they're, they're trying to make it look like on the outside, like they're happy. Okay? But something, it's like they, I feel like it's someone who cannot get you out of their head. You have strength showing up here in the center of your reading. You've definitely got someone here, it's showing up as love, Taurus. Someone here who wants you to, to recognize them. Why is strength here? Someone here that has been holding back, they've been quiet, they're going to be coming forward now. Something's changing with the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Ace of Cups here. So they're within this connection right here i'm seeing something huge happening this is a major arcana the wheel of fortune so, and it's going to happen very quick the chariot is here the fastest moving card in the tarot deck which is cancer energy tell me why the wheel of fortune is here the four of pentacles Six of Cups. You've got someone from the past coming back around again. Someone that's been holding back. And you have the Nine of Cups. This person may be drinking a lot. They may have some type of an addiction also. And I don't know who this person is to you. This could be a family member. This could be an ex. But you've got someone here coming back around again from the past. Sitting in the center of your reading. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Five of Rods. This may cause... I'm seeing there's other people in your energy that, that you give to here. And this may cause an argument or a conflict with other people in your life with having this person return into your life. Having them show up again. Here you are, Taurus, you're the Empress, male or female, and the Page of Cups is here. 
I feel like this feels like good news to you, Taurus, when this person comes back. This could be a child, but it causes a conflict and it causes like petty games, maybe little arguments here happening. And then you have the Fool and the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Rods. So let's see what happens from here. You're going to be up in your head about this with the Nine of Swords. I, I feel like you're going to be worried, but I feel like with the Fool, I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith here. And you're going to jump in to this because I feel like it's going to make you happy. Why is the fool here? Okay, so you have justice, Libra energy. You're going to jump into this, Taurus, if this is your reading. Um... I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith and I see you just wanting to make everything fair with everyone with justice showing up. You're not wanting to choose sides. You're wanting to make this work with the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. And I'm seeing like a celebration here. This may be your children, but it's like there's, there's something here that's going to cause a bit of a conflict, but then everybody comes together and everyone's happy. So I feel like your plan's going to work out. And then you have the Two of Pentacles, so there is some juggling here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. There's going to be, something's going to be revealed to you, Taurus. You might be dealing with a Pisces. You have the High Priestess here. And you have the Queen of Cups. And I'm not sure what is going on here. Why is the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess here? Okay, so you have Gemini energy here with the Lovers. It's almost like you need to make a choice. I feel like you're going to feel like you need to make a choice. And there is, there's, there's one person here that is a bit manipulative, Taurus. And I don't know if this reading's all over the place, but it's, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as, if I figure it out, it's for you to figure out. But there's there's something here coming up where you're not going to want to make a decision. Because I see you being pulled in two different directions. It's like everything's going to come together after a conflict or an argument. Everything comes together. But then you're going to find out something here and you're going to need to make a choice a decision and then you have the nine of rods why is the nine of rods here okay, you have the three of rods and the ten of rods and the Two of Swords keeps wanting to show up. So not wanting to make a decision, closing yourself off. It's like you're stuck in the middle. It's like what you were hoping and waiting for with the Three of Rods. I feel like you were hoping and waiting for something to work out. 
and it just becomes a heavy burden here with the Ten of Rods showing up. And so to clarify your reading here, this is why we have the Hierophant and the King of Swords because I'm seeing that you're going to have to take the higher road and you're going to have to do what's right here. The higher level of commitment with the higher offense. Spirits, why is this here? The Four of Cups. We get one more Taurus. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles and you have the Eight of Swords. Someone. Uh, so this is a very confusing reading today, Taurus. And I feel like we all have free will, so I can't give you a direct answer of what you're going to do here. But there's something here about you being up in your head because you have waited a very long time here for someone that has been like, there's little to no communication here with this person. And so I'm seeing that you're going to be up in your head and you're gonna to have to make like a life-changing decision which keeps showing up in your energy lately Taurus and it's showing up again now but I want you guys to choose number one number two or number three and ask your angels a question there's number one number two and number three and keep this if you have a second number picked out in your head right now keep that there in case the first the first one that you choose doesn't resonate with you because this is a general reading if you chose number one the answer is yes and if you chose number two, ask your angels and ask out loud, Taurus. And if you chose number three, you're ready. All right, Taurus, so these are the messages that came through in your tarot cards today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture, and I hope you got some answers um, out of this reading. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.